This video is about making a science project, the Cartesian Diver, and making it inexpensively. Cartesian divers seem to drop and rise as if by magic. In fact, the first historical reference by a student of Galileo refers to them as devil's divers. I sometimes joke with kids about the diver telling if something is true. Can I get a question? Are you ugly? Am I ugly? No, it's not doing it. Of course they know it's not magic. But that begs the question, well then, what does make it go up and down? And that's part of the fun of science, figuring out why things work. You could see the bubble, the water rising up into the straw when you squeeze it. You can actually see the air trapped in the diver being compressed. And then you can't help but start to grapple with why some things float in water and other things sink. A piece of foam from an egg carton always floats. Metal coins always sink. The balsa wood floats. This rock sinks. This mug is an interesting case. As long as the inside is filled with air, it floats. But if water displaces the air, if it gets swamped, in other words, it sinks. In a Cartesian diver, you can see the water displace some of the air inside. There are lots of good ideas for Cartesian divers on the internet. One good design uses an eyedropper. But sometimes my teenage students host lots of elementary school students to make science projects like this. Even if I only pay one dollar for each eyedropper, if we work with hundreds of students, that would be hundreds of dollars we'd have to pay. I don't have that budget. So I use drinking straws instead. Near the end of this video, you can see some other ways to make a Cartesian diver. The straw will have to be folded over in the middle to hold the air bubble in. Flexible straws make that particularly easy. Ideally, you would find straws that were both flexible and clear, but I haven't seen that kind in the store for years. Fortunately, even if you use colored straws, you can still see the water level rise and fall. See these two straws? One you can hardly see into. But the other, although it's colored, is translucent. You can kind of see into it. Get that kind. If you really want very clear straws, school lunch programs use them. And in my experience, school cafeteria administrators have always been happy to donate some straws to a good kid activity. Here, would you like some straws to help you out? You'll need paper clips to provide increments of weight for the diver. Kids love colored paper clips. And either rubber bands or tape to hold them on. You'll need a bottle. Remember the bottle must have a lid to contain the pressure. You'll need water. With large groups, getting water into everybody's bottle can slow things down, so I try to arrange several sources of water. Notice that with small sinks, you can't really fill the bottles directly, but you can make it work if you have a cup. Finally, you should have at least one open container with water to test the divers for buoyancy before you put them in the bottle. The straw must be folded in half. That's easy if it's a flexible straw. Fold it over and cut it off even. If it's not a flexible straw, it helps to pinch the middle between thumb and forefinger first to make the bend. 
every once in a while a straw will split open at the bend and not work because it can't hold the air. But if you pinch it in the middle and make the bend two bends, that's less likely to happen. Don't squish the rest of the straw because it needs some space to hold air. If you use rubber bands to hold the ends together, twist and wrap, twist and wrap until it's on tight. If you're using tape, make sure the straw is dry. Then it's a matter of hooking on the paper clips. Bend the outside end of the paper clip out a little bit and hook it on the rubber band or tape. You'll have to figure out how many to use. You need enough paper clips to almost sink the diver, but not quite. Do this with an open container so it's easy to get out. Hook, hook, hook. Oh, it's sunk. I need to take a paper clip off. Wow, partly floats, partly sinks. You can also fine tune the weight of the diver by squeezing a bubble or two of air out of the straw. Then it's time to try it out. Squish the paper clips enough to get them in the bottle. Top off the bottle with water if it's not all the way up to the top. Put the lid on and twist it tight. One time during a hectic demonstration, I provided some unintentional comic relief by forgetting to tighten the lid before squeezing the bottle. The gush of water nailed me right in the face. Squeezing the bottle should make the Cartesian diver go down. Letting go should make it go up. Come on, now you go bring my clothes and put it in your face. Look, squeeze it. Now squeeze it, all right? Uh, yeah. And then ah, let it go. And then it comes back up. And then Measured squeezing should allow you to make the diver hover halfway. You might have to add more weight if it's hard to make the diver go down. It's hard to squeeze it.